Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and this is the start of a new reading vlog for week 2 of the Corsaton. I <laughs> filmed my outro for the last vlog a minute ago and now let's talk about the books that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading three books and there are interesting books on this list. I'm reading currently A City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I'm reading this for the prom with TPR veteran because I didn't, if you watched my last vlog, I DNF'd Crave um, basically on 5% and this is the next book that I have for the longest now. I think this is also the oldest book on my TBR now and I'm currently halfway through this book. I had 55, 54% into the audiobook. Yes, I'm listening to the audiobook, also to the German one um, because I know I say I, I like tiny books because I think they're cute but I fucking hate reading these books like there's no need for this book to be printed that tiny i know i don't know what i expected when i bought this tiny book how big the font is but i i can and then it's so stiff they're cute i like having them in my bookshelf and i like looking at them but otherwise they are not too handle for me and I like it so far, it's a historical fiction about Vivian um, that she got to New York in the 40s while the Second World War is happening. Um, it's before the um, US joins the, the war, the Second World War. And she's living her life at 19 in New York and yeah, I really enjoy reading this. Then I'm reading Lessons in Chemistry, also a historical fiction book. I am in chapter 7, which is page 56. I'm not far into this book, <laughs> to be honest. And otherwise than the City of Girls book, and this one is thankfully a lot larger, so it's easier to read this book. I will count this book as my standalone for the Corsaton, and because it is a standalone. And I really enjoy it also so far. It's about um, Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth, she's a chemist in 1960 or oh, the early 1960s, I think, where we are, we are now. It's, I think, 57. And she ends up as a single mother and she gets her own cooking show and she based the whole cooking show on chemistry because cooking is chemistry. I mean, almost everything is chemistry. Everything is chemistry. And it's so far enjoyable. Um, I would say a huge trigger warning for chapter 3 because there's um, a, a sexual assault um, scene. It is a descriptive rape scene which was not good to read. But so far I'm really enjoying this. Also the, like, the feminist points in there are really great and I'm reading that. And I'm also reading currently Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> I'm not far into this. I'm in the second chapter. so. But I started this because on First Vienna, the, this is one of the secret projects that Brent and Sanderson did. And I'm excited to read this currently. So, I read heavy books at the moment with two historical fiction books with, yeah, heavy themes. For me at least, with the misogyny and the not so great um, description of women. And also a fantasy, a heavy fantasy. I start concentrating on finishing the League of Girls because I'm um, halfway through this book and maybe, maybe, maybe after that um, I'm finishing this one and maybe I start The Night House by Lipa Duo. I got Hellbent in the mail um, actually. I'm quite surprised that I got it today because I think the actual release day is tomorrow and listen. I was always, I thought the cover first is cool with the rabbit on it, but the more I look at it and the closer you look at it, it's actually quite disturbing and it looks like a plastic rabbit. It's definitely not a real looking rabbit and I'm so excited to read this. And I hope Miss Lee Badu that this book was rated three fucking year wait. So 
yeah this is the only thing i can tell you now i need to um learn something now because i procrastinated the whole day and after when i'm done with learning maybe i will read something but now learn learn marketing because i write a test in february so i need to learn <laughs> But um, I learned a little bit in marketing. Last night I read a little bit in City of Girls and also Lessons in Chemistry. And honestly, sorry, um, I can't wait to finish both of the books. Um, I'm really enjoying them, but I don't know, the topics in it are really mm, not really heavy, but. It's not a quick fun, you know what I mean? Um, and I learned for one hour today, got out and picked up a bagel and a cinnamon roll, already ate it, and a cup of coffee. Um, by the way, this is a reusable cup system that we have now. I don't know if all the countries have this too, but I can take this home with me and I um, don't need to throw this away. And I can give it back and give money back or I use it from time to time and I use it. <laughs> so yeah, I have a cup of coffee. I, I have a lot of books here in the background. These are the books that I on hold I think half a year ago and didn't um, I didn't manage to sell them. So for the last two weeks I pick some books up and bring them to a library, to an open library. Um, like the little library cases you have in the US or Canada. We have like a whole cell for it. We have always te telephone cells where you can call someone. And obviously we don't need them anymore. And a lot of them are gone, but a few of them are still there and they um, got redesigned to open libraries, which is really cute. And I bring some books there and this thing was packed. This was packed full. So I stuffed them in there and the books that I put in there last week are gone now. So I'm excited to see that my books are gone, but the other books that are in there are just really old books. You know, the people, old people have them at home and they're, they, they're like, okay, I don't want this anymore, so put this in there. Um, these kind of books. And now my books are in there too. And I also bring a package away with, um, with jeans. Okay. I wanted to show you the jeans that I got, but not for free. Honestly, the, I don't think that even for porn side this would be aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> but <laughs> listen, I I need a bigger size now, and but that means now I need a bigger size since two years for jeans, um, and it's a journey. It's a journey to get jeans because. I can only order them online because no um, clothing brand in my city or in the next cities have jeans in bigger sizes, which means um, in Germany over 42, which is I think UK 14, 16. And this size over that they don't even have it. If they even have a size 42, this would be a blessing, but I don't need 42 anymore. I need bigger sizes. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, but honestly, it's a journey to get some jeans. I ordered some from from H&M, H&M, and the last jeans that I got, they were too big. I was surprised that I ordered a jeans that is too big for me, and not a jeans that is too small for me. But I think I could work with it a little bit too big, because I, my belly had so much space in there. It was a little bit loose if I had a belt, I think I could work with it. And body jeans were so long that I could use them as socks too. Like they were this much too long. And I, I was like, you know, I have a big ass and thick thighs, but I'm not tall. But I do always think brands that if someone has a, needs a bigger size, they're automatically large. I'm not large, I'm not tall. 
I'm, I'm a normal sized woman in Germany. So, it's on, yeah, but okay, I send them back. Which is something that bothers me because I know what happened with the jeans that I sent back um, because they're um, not getting reused and they don't sell it anymore. Just got thrown away. And this makes me so mad that they um, don't have the size anymore in my in the store, which just makes me so mad because now I need to order everything online and try them on and then I need to send them back because they're not fitting. And the jeans that I got, the jeans that I got last week, I tell you, I put them on. They were a little bit longer, but it was okay. It was not that I need to write in my socks. Um, they were just they were a little bit tight on the belly, but I could also work with it. <laughs> but the gap between my back and the back side of the of the jeans, one jeans, my bare ass was out. I I I'm not kidding. I'm not kicking. Kidding. My boyfriend looked at these and was like, "What the hell is going on? What is wrong with this jeans? It's just so the the." The fitting of this was so weird, and I put on it also tried on the second one. <laughs> it was the same, but the first one was really bad. It, the bears really, you, it, 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 the gap was this big. I'm not even kidding. I I I wish I could show you, but I will not. This was um, a miserable ride of finding a new jeans. So I ordered. New ones, but not from H&M this time. Not from H&M this time, um, from ASOS. But I think one is Topshop and the other one is... I don't know anymore. And I hope these are fitting. And... But this is, needs to be a surprise. I don't know yet. And by the way, I have a new um, sweatshirt. Unpopular opinion. I think this is really fitting for me. Now I need to learn more. So, I will see you. <laughs> arrived. I was debating with myself if I have today the complete confidence to try on new jeans. But I decided that yes I have the confidence. So I tried them on. No fucking way. <laughs> Too big! too big. Not even like in a shit way. I think the baggy fit can only wear skinny people. But yeah, maybe I order them a size smaller. Hmm. Okay, second pair of jeans. I have to gap here. But it's not an extreme like the H&M one. This is the... Oh, the jeans stink. Ooh. So... Hmm. But I think I ordered the other one that I tried on again. But a size smaller. And this one, I think I will also return this. But actually, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit irritated of 
how tight they are on, like on this, this part. They're really tight here. And I, I, I don't know if I like this. So, but yeah, I need to return both because they're too big. I finished the book. I finished City of Girls. And honestly, I'm so glad that I finished this book. It was not bad. It was not bad at all. I think about giving this book a 5 star. <laughs> but I'm currently reading, I think, 5 books at the same time and I'm, I'm overwhelmed, okay? Um, but I finished this. And honestly, this book was beautiful. It was raw. You got to all the ups and downs in Vivian's life. But she always fought for her and lived the life that she wanted to live in the end. Because I, honestly, I, half a book, through the book I forgot the point of what the whole book is based on. <laughs> but then we come back to in the end. In the end, it was beautiful. So I think this is a good book. I would say it's not for everyone, everyone, but it was definitely a good book for me. So I finished that one. Hello, it's me again. It's Friday now and I want to do a little bit of an update. What happened in the last night? I had night shift, so obviously I was at work and I am DNF some books. I cannot tell you. Anything different. I started books and DNF after. And I'll tell you why now. So, the first book that I started reading is um, Stolen Air, not that one by Holly Black. Um, it's the Sophie Lark one. It's the second book in, in the series. It's a companion human book. And I read the first book a while ago. And I really liked the first book. I really liked the couple in it. And then I started reading The Stolen Air, not The Stolen Air, The Stolen Air by Holly Beck, Stolen Air by Sophie Lark, and this book was different. Honestly, I just DNF this at 15 pages, and I will tell you that this wasn't DNF, because it was horrible. It was not horrible in the classic sense, that this book was not it, but in the first chapter, and this is a huge trigger warning. If you might want to skip what I'm saying now, huge trigger warning for suicide. You can skip a little bit forehead. But in the first scene, in the first chapter, the, the twin sister from the male love interest or for the male character commits suicide. Sadly, successful. And the screen, this, this scene is descriptive here explains how she's laying in the bathtub and what happened and blood is everywhere and if you don't know so far it, it was shocking okay it was it was i was i was i was baffled because i didn't expect it and there was no trigger warning in the beginning because if i would have read this um if the trigger warning i might would not read this to begin with honestly this was a huge trigger warning for myself and it, if you don't know, if you don't know, in the scenes, in the books, there are illustrated scenes in the book. In the first book, Brutal Prince, there were scenes, steamy scenes, sex scenes, that were illustrated, um, but not really enough, that you can actually see genitals, but you see what they're doing. You get an illustrated scene of the suicide. In her head, how she's laying in the bathtub. Um, I don't even know what I want to say anymore to that because I was I was shocked. I was first of all was shocked about the descriptive suicide scene, and the moment I thought I was over it, I skipped to two pages later and I see the illustrated scene, and I was like, I'm done now. I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Why is there illustrated scene of a suicide in the book? Maybe I'm a little bit overweight then, but why would you do that? So I, I didn't have this book. I didn't have it. It's okay. 
Then I started A Touch of Ruin by Scarlett St. Clair. Um, if you watched my 22 books I want to read in 2023, this book is on a list of books that I want to read. Listen, I started the audiobook. Woman, I tell you, I was so fucking mad about Persephone. I, I hope I don't... I, if you, this is your favorite book, if you like the series, I'm so happy for you. But I'm done. I'm done with dumb characters, with a savior complex who thinks that she needs to save the world with her fucking audacity and write fucking news articles about a shitty, a shitty workplace who tries to get an exclusive interview a news article about her relationship with Hades or she can is fired from her job. Um, what the fuck is this? Why does she have the need to write an article about this? And 5,000 people tell her, uh, not 5,000 people, but four, three, at least three, four, maybe, tell her, don't do this. Don't write this article about this person. Don't do this. And the, the friend, the best friend, best friend, that this whole article is about, because the situation happened to her, not to person, not to Persephone, to her. It happened to her. And she's like, please, for the love of my son and him, don't write this article about this because this could ruin my life. And she's like, I need to do this, I need to do this. No, the fuck, you don't need to do this. So I didn't have this at 80% because I couldn't, I couldn't any longer. I, I, because I know if I will bring myself to read this whole book, I will rate it zero stars just for the fucking audacity of this little fucking breath that Persephone is in the book. It's, she's annoying, she's a narcissist. And she thinks the world is centered around her and she can nothing do wrong because she's Persephine and she's the lover of Hades. And what I also DNF'd is After Love. It's a YA romance, sci-fi book. And when I started reading it, I was like, yes, this is YA. And I was, no, it was nothing wrong with the book. Well, really, nothing wrong with the book. It was just too YA for me, so I didn't have this at, I think, 5%. So, I think my past self would love this book. Definitely, I would eat this shit up. Not this shit. I would eat this, yeah, okay. But not now. I, I already read one YA romance book this month. It was okay. I don't need to read another one. Week of reading when I'm filming this, it's actually it's actually like the next week, Thursday. I'm really late to film this outro, so but my future self would be happy that I film this now. And um, you you watched what I DNF'd, I told you my reasons for that, and 
honestly the only book that I finished was City of Girls I think last week um, I can't remember finishing anything else except for that book and but that's fine because I really enjoyed City of Girls I think it was a beautiful book I honestly I can I think I can see I can see a type of the books that I'm enjoying currently but yeah this is definitely a recommendation for you and yeah okay this was week this was week two of the Corsaton I hope you enjoyed this look I hope you have so much fun in the Corsaton and then I will link you everything in the description down below and I will see you in my next video bye <music>